Hi, kindergarten friends. It's Mrs. Bailey again, and my friend Teddy, who's going to help today. And we're going to start today with a riddle. I want you to guess which sound we are going to be working on today when we're listening for sounds. And I have a clue for you. Can you see what's in that jar? If you can't see it really well, I'm gonna give you some clues about it. They're green and they are crunchy and oftentimes they are sour and the name of what they are is part of the name of the sound that we're going to be listening for today. Are you thinking? What's in the jar? and it has a name that is in the name of the sound that we're going to be working on today. What do you think? Yes, it's pickles in the jar, and our sound is pickles the pig. So we are going to be listening for the pickles the pig sound, and Teddy is going to be helping today. He's going to help a whole lot. I hope he doesn't get too tired, but he wants you to listen for the pickles the pig, pickles the pig, ick, ick, ick. Do that with me. Pickles the pig, pickles the pig, ick, ick, ick. Teddy, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, I think he's ready. Okay, he wants you to listen for words that have the ick at the beginning of the word. You're listening for ick, at the beginning. And when you hear the I, you are going to make a lowercase i down and with the dot in the air or on the palm of your hand or with your finger on the rug. And you're going to just finger right, either in the air, in the palm of your hand, or on the rug with your finger. If you're ready, say, I am so ready, Mrs. Bailey. Okay, here we go. Teddy, are you ready? Yeah, oh, he's ready, okay. So listen for the beginning of the word and make the I with your finger if you hear I at the very beginning of the word. Here we go, Teddy's gonna give you the first word. It. Did you make an I? Good, because you heard I at the beginning of it. Sat. I didn't hear an I there. I did not hear an I. No, I don't hear it at the beginning. Egg. Do you hear it at the beginning? Nope. Bus. Do you hear it? I don't hear it. Into. Do you hear it? Oh, I think I see some of you making an I for the it sound. Good for you. Pickles the pig, pickles the pig, it, it, it. Here's your next one, ready Teddy? If, oh good, you're making the lowercase i that makes the it sound. An, nope, not that one. Ash, no, inch. Are you making that I? Good. Inch does start with I. Good for you. Tan. Does that start with I? Nope. On. Oops, I said it and I'm so sorry, Teddy. I'm so, can you ever forgive me? Teddy was supposed to say it. He's going to say it now. On. Nope, not that one. Ill. Yes, you made that I because it starts with an I. Pickles the pig, pickles the pig, I, I, I. Now we're going to change things. We're still going to be listening for pickles the pig, I, I, I. But we are going to be listening to see if we hear it in the middle of the word. So you're going to make that I again in, with your finger 
in the air on the palm of your hand or on the rug if you hear I in the middle of the word. Are you ready? If you're ready, do a silent cheer. Good, okay, here we go. Remember, you're listening for the middle of the word and you're listening for I. Teddy is going to say the first word, sift. Good, you made an I because you heard I in the middle. Jumble. I don't hear that in the middle. Listen for I. Bill. Yes, I heard I in the word Bill. Good. Fit. Yes, I heard I in fit. Never. No, I don't hear it there. Tin. Good, I heard I, good. Fast. Nope, not there. Got. No, not there. Sit. Yes, you're making your eye. Good, because you heard I in sit. Pride. I don't hear it there. You know, I just want to remind you that you can always say the word after I say it or Teddy says it to help you to hear it better. So please feel free to say the word after Teddy says it today to help you to hear it, to see if you hear the I sound. Here's another one. Sick. Yes, you should be making an I. Bog. No. Beg. No. Ship. Yes, good. Lip. Good. That one does have I in the middle. Here's your next word. Are you getting tired, Teddy? No, no, you wanna do more? Oh, he wants to do more, okay. Ready? Tusk. No, I don't hear it in the middle. This. Yes, I hear it in the middle. Bottle. Nope, I don't hear it in the middle. Big. Yes, I hear it. Did you make an I? Good for you. And here's our last word for today. Here we go. Ready, Teddy, it's your last one. Jelly. Did you hear it? No, we didn't hear it in that word. Good job of listening today. Let's start with our first word line. And as we blend sounds together to make words, don't forget to sing the sounds on a note because that really helps to blend the sounds together really smoothly to make a word. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I hid, hid. <laughs> I Kid, kid. <clears throat> I think I have a frog in my throat today. Sorry about all the times I'm going to have to clear my throat. I hope it doesn't jump out onto the paper. Er, e, red. Red. Oh, I forgot to do that first sound. Ol, e, lid, lid. D, e, did, did. Let's read all those words with that um, pickle the pig sound 
in the middle of them. Ready? Hid, kid, rid, lid, did. The little dots on my eyes aren't round enough. Somehow I'm making them not round enough. I'm going to have to work on that. In this word line, can you find the word that starts with hairy hound dog? <laughs> hairy hound dog, hairy hound dog. <laughs> Do that with me. Hairy hound dog, hairy hound dog. <laughs> Which word starts with that sound? <clears throat> You're right, it's this first one, hid. Good job. Let's go to the second word line. A pig. Pig. B. A. Big, big. D, e, dig, dig. R, e, rig. Rig. Now, to rig something means to get it all ready to use it. For instance, on a sailboat, they make sure that the mast and the sails are ready and all in, uh, set up correctly. So it kind of means to set up something to get it to use. Sometimes people call a big truck like a big rig also. And here's our last word in that line. F. I. Fig. Fig. That's a type of fruit that grows on a tree. My aunt used to have a fig tree in her backyard. And those figs were really delicious. Let's look at line two. See if you can find the word that means the opposite of little. The opposite of little. Yes, big is the opposite of little. Let's go to our third word line. Z. I. Zip. Zip. O, I, lip, lip. S, I, sip, sip. D. I, come on, get rounder, little circle. Dip, dip. And the last word in this line, t, er, I, trip, trip. Look at those words. Let's read them. Zip. Lip, sip, dip, trip. Try to find the word that means something you like to do with a chip when you put it into guacamole. That's right, dip. You want to dip the chip in guacamole. 
I can't remember, friends, if I had you read that second line again. Let me read it for you. Pig, big, dig, rig, fig. Let's read those together. Pig, big, dig, rig, fig. I think I got all into telling you about how my aunt had a fig tree, and I think I forgot to read those. I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to move on now to our mystery sentences. And the first one is going to have two mystery words, so really pay attention. See if you can get both of the words that will help to make the sentence make sense. The boy took the hmm off. the cup and had a hmm of milk. Let's read that sentence together. The boy took the hmm off the cup and had a hmm of milk. Think about it. Look at the words in the word lines and see if you can figure out one of the words that would go in one of those blanks or even both of the words. So what would the, what, the boy took the hmm off the cup. What did he take off the cup? Let's work on that part first. What did he take off the cup? I'm going to give you a clue. It's in the first word line. That's right, it's lid. The boy took the lid off the cup and had a hmm of milk. Can you figure out what would make the sentence make sense? Here's your clue. The word is in the third word line. Yes, it's sip. The boy took the lid off the cup and had a sip of milk. Read it with me. The boy took the lid off the cup and had a sip of milk. Good reading. Let's do the next mystery sentence. The Big Oh, this is a long word. Bulldozer can hmm in the mud. The big bulldozer can hmm in the mud. Now, a bulldozer is a special kind of tractor that can move different kinds of things. Maybe that will give you a, a clue. The big bulldozer can hmm in the mud. I'm going to give you a clue. It's in the second word line. Yes, it's dig. 
Let's read the sentence together after I read it. The big bulldozer can dig in the mud. Ready? The big bulldozer can dig in the mud. Great job. Good reading, kindergarten friends. Good blending of sounds together to make words and good thinking about what the sentences meant and how to put the right word in to make them make sense. I hope to be with you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, word-working friends. Good job on your sounding and blending today. It's Mrs. Opera, by the way. Let's get ready for our letter I paper. You've done so much good work today. We'll keep it up. All right, my name's at the bottom. And now, let's practice our capital and lowercase i's. Ready? Big line down, little line across, little line across. Ooh, that one is hard to see because it's right sitting right on the bottom line. Then for our lowercase i, we'll go little line down, lift, little dot. Not a gigundus amundus, friends. Not a gigundus amundus. I know you can do it. Okay, here we go. Down, lift, across, across, little line down, lift, little dot, oh, beautiful. Down, lift, across, across, down, lift, and a little dot. I'm gonna keep working. Oh, this is interesting, I just noticed that our letter I paper, down, lift, across, across. So down is the first stroke. Ends with a capital, usually it ends with a lowercase. Huh, interesting. All right, now we're ready to write. So my first stroke for my capital is a big line down. Then I lift and I go across, across. Big line down, lift, across, across. Big line down, lift, across, across, nice. Ooh, these capitals are tricky for me, harder. Ooh, that's not my best one. Okay, that is not my best. That's okay, I can be flexible. E oh boy. My best is this one. That's my best capital. My best lowercase is this one. Okay, friends, let's think about the letter I. Is it a consonant or a vowel? Oh yeah, it's a vowel. And today we practice the short vowel sound for the letter I. If, 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 if. Oh boy. Let's do our eye searching here and then we're gonna talk about something very confusing. Okay, get ready to search on your mark. Get set, go. Lowercase, oh, that one has too big of a dot. Lowercase, I mean, really. Capital, ooh, you are fast, friends. Capital, oh, and that Q is really bothering me. It just, it needs to kick it out. Oh, I feel so much better. Now, we studied today with Mrs. Bailey the short I sound. Eh, 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 eh. Vowels are tricky though. They can make more than one sound. So the first picture we're gonna clap for our syllable clap activity today actually starts with a long I sound. And that's okay, that's okay. But I just wanted you to notice the difference. Ooh, somebody is calling me. It could be Mrs. Bailey, but we're working, so I'm gonna check with her later. Okay, let's clap island, ready? Island, island, good. Let's give it like, yeah, that's Mrs. Bailey, because she lets it ring a lot. Um, let's give it like a beachy color. Oh, with a sassy coconut tree. It's like our chicka chicka boom boom tree. Aw, island. Ooh, let's clap igloo, ready? Igloo, count it, igloo. 
Okay, I know igloos are white. I do know that. They are made of, yes, ice. But just for fun, I'm just going to give it a little bit of light blue because that color reminds me of things that are cold. You don't have to do that. Igloo. Okay, now that had the short eye. Eh, eh, eh. Ooh, and this ladybug is, or beetle maybe, eh, ladybug, is a type of what kind of creature? Oh yeah, insect, insect. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at this. Island, igloo, insect. How funny. All of our words have two claps or two syllables today. That is so interesting. I don't think that's ever happened before. Huh. All right. I might go back and color more later, but now, ooh, this is a challenge. We're going to think of three items that start, oh, guess what? That was Mrs. Bailey on the phone. <laughs> she just texted me and she's getting ready to help us with another lesson. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. We are going to think about some items we could draw that start with the letter I. You could have them start with the long I sound. That's okay if you want to. Island. Because I does say its name. Or they could start with the short I sound like we practiced today in our word lines. Eh, 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 eh. So take some thinking time and I'm going to also and I'm gonna decide on what I wanna draw and then write with my sound stretching skills. I'm going to think, ooh, I'm thinking, hmm, eh, 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 or I, I, I. Oh, okay. I'm gonna to try to draw something that might be like on the roof of a house in the winter time when it's like very cold. I don't know if you can really tell what that is. Any guesses? Hmm, oh, you got it. I thought of I, I, icicle. I, I, icicle. I, that's a soft C. Eh, there's that short I in the middle, icicle. Maybe I'll add an S because I drew more than one. Icicles. Icicles. All right, word working friends. To finish up your paper, can you choose two more items to draw and write that either start with I, 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 or I, 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 I. We are so proud of you, word workers. We'll see you soon. Have a great day.